Hello and welcome back to the Football Pyramid. It's the second semi-final between Patrice Van Straten and Christopher Hamill. Before we get into how they're doing, just a quick reminder on the rules. Of course, you know it by now. Eight questions of ascending difficulty. They get three lifelines, 50-50 clue and super sub. And they are competing for a place in the final alongside Michael McCovid, who dispatched Danny Pate. Why well, say dispatch? I actually went down to the last question last week. Patrick, how are you feeling? You've survived the hot week in the UK so far. Are you feeling confident today? Um, no, I'm not. Because when you say I've survived the heat, at what cost, Doogie? Um, <laughs> brain cells. I feel like I'm, yeah, I feel like I'm hemorrhaging brain cells left and right. Um, I'm going to drop a couple of pounds in the course of this episode because I'm in the loft. But yeah, anyway, I'm okay, Doogie. I'm all right. Good, good. Chris, your old foe, Michael McCubbin, awaits in the final. But you've got to dispatch Patrice before that. How are you feeling ahead of this clash? I'm awestruck by Van Straten's shirt. You don't often see Van Straten in a shirt, and I've been told this one is pyjama material and has tigers on, so I'm already no, feeling a lions. bit intimidated, Incorrect. to be perfectly frank. Lions, <laughs> there we go. I'm all right, I've been swimming, so I'm feeling uncharacteristically Ooh. fresh for the morning. I'm definitely not a morning person normally, but uh, yeah, went for a little dip. Love it, love it. Good decision in this heat, as I say, Chris. I don't think you're the underdog, really, but I'm going to give you the choice of left or right for the little USB thingy. Okay, I'm going to go left. It is in the left. Would you like to go first or second? I'll go first, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, opening up the show, we've got a question to Chris from Jake Leatherhead. What was the first name of Man United's most famous Ferguson? Oscar, Alexander, Jurgen, or Robert? Recently played Leatherhead Golf Course. Uh, did not play it very well, though. Uh, the answer is Alexander. Correct. Well done. Into League Two. Good stuff. Patrice, your question comes in from Jake Leatherhead as well. Who won the 2018 World Cup? Italy, France, Germany or Brazil? France. Correct. Into League Two as well. Christopher, your question comes in from Fraser Jackson. Who is Scotland football's captain? Also known as who is Scotland's captain? John McGinn, Andy Robertson, Kenny Dalgleish, or groundskeeper Willie? Uh, I mean, groundskeeper Willie. What an underrated character in The Simpsons. Um, oh, yeah, it's Andy Robertson. Correct. Well done. Right, Pat. Question comes in from Fraser Jackson as well. Who is Van Bronckhorst the manager of? AZ Alkmaar, Vitesse, Go Ahead Eagles, or Rangers? Uh, Rangers. Correct. Well done. Interleague one. Motoring you made me so fearful far. then, Doogie. I was fearful for a second. <laughs> Chris, your question comes in from Rawashter. Which team came second in the 2020-21 season, so the season before last? Liverpool, Man City, Man United or Chelsea? Manchester United. Correct. Well done. Into the championship. I thought that might stump you. Briefly, but well done. <laughs> Pat, your question comes in from Dominic Cassieri. Which La Liga team besides Sevilla also called Seville home. Rayo Vallecano, Osasuna, Real Betis or Celta Vigo? Uh, Betis. Correct, well done, into the championship. Okay, one more round before they start really ramping up. Chris, your question comes in from It's Pilco. What is the first name of Messi's father? Jorge, Lionel, Antonio or Dave? <laughs> uh, Jorge. Correct, well done, into the Prem. Patrick, your question comes in from Ryan Lowe. Which Premier League side has scored the most goals since the league's inception? Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United or Liverpool? I believe it's Manchester United. Locking it in? Yeah, sure. Correct. Well done into the Premier League. Right. This is where it really begins. The big boy stuff. Chris, your question comes in from It's Pilco. Do you have like three people working for you, by the way? Because these questions, I swear to God, have just been from Leatherhead and Pilko. <laughs> they are my, they're my regular you guys. You subletting yeah. your work out. <laughs> yeah. How many clubs did Michael Owen play for? Three, four, five or six? Um, okay. Liverpool, Real Madrid, Newcastle, Stoke. Am I missing any? Manchester United. Let's just go over that career path once more. Liverpool, then to Real Madrid, then to Newcastle. Then it was... Oh, God. Was there some... Was there someone after Newcastle? 
Man United Stoke. I'm going to go for five. You were in the Premier League. You've gone with C5. And you're right. Well done. Good Definitely work. Definitely about Newcastle. Wouldn't have got that. Love that. Yeah, Newcastle was... Most Newcastle fans would sort of forget it. Patrick, your mm. question comes in from Oscar Aitken. Who is the Premier League's top Dutch goal scorer of all time? A suitable question for you, actually. Burkamp, Van Nistelrooy, Hasselbank or Van Persie? Ooh. My instinct here is Van Persie. I don't think it's Bergkamp. Like, Bergkamp arrived quite old. Um, and Van Nistelrooy wasn't in the league that long. Hasselbank's a possibility. I'm going to say Van Persie. I think it was Van Persie. He had a couple of really prolific seasons. No messing around. Pat has gone with D. Van Persie. And you two are going up to the Europa League. Hey. Lovely stuff. Well done, lads. So you've got three questions remaining. And you've got all three lifelines. High quality Dude, do we need? Do we, do we need to... Sp- Spin this out a little bit. This is go. This is going at a rate of knots. Seven so I've done in nine. Episode. When we yeah. start doing the super subs and stuff, it always elongates. But yeah, this oh, has been speedy. Those. But yeah, no, I like it. It's just efficiency so far today. Yeah, I was going to say the entertainment value has been low so far. I think mm-hmm. what people find most entertaining is just great quizzing. So <laughs> right, I think keep it up, lads. This is a show for the purist. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Chris, your question comes in from the Jack Jellab fan club, which I think must be Zach's burner account. Which of these players did not end up with 10 goals and 10 assists in the league in 21-22? Unkunku, Benzema, Moussa Diaby or Kalhanoglu? Oh, sh**. Yikes. Did not end up with double digits for both categories. Yeah. Instinctively, I'm leaning towards Benzema, who I feel might not have got double digits for assists. Um... Because his role is no longer facilitator, is it? Okay. Um, maybe I'll use a 50 50. I, th- I think Phone a Friend would be fairly useless on this one. Super sub. Super sub, sorry. Um, <laughs> there's Clue and 50 50 as well, right? Yes. Clues can be a bit of a give me, so is that better to save for later on? Yeah, I'll go 50 50, mate. Okay, your 50-50 is Moussa Diaby or Cal Hanoglu. Oh, there goes my f- logic. Moussa Diaby. So everyone always says 50-50 is not helpful. There we go. I'm going to go Cal Hanoglu. I don't think he got double digit for goals, despite being a f- pen merchant. Was that last season? I think Di- I think Diaby had his best season yet at Leverkusen. That made me think of the line from Harry Potter or about the Nimbus 2000, where he's like, it's the fastest one, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go I'm gonna go Chalanoglu. Okay, Chris, you were in the Europa League. You used your 50-50. You've gone with D Chalanoglu. And you were right. Great quizzing, Chris. Yeah, good lovely. work. Nice. Lovely. Really good work. How Solid use of the lifeline. Uh, he, he actually got, got a lot. Of- he got like 13, I think. All oh, right. Yeah, because he got like seven in like the first half of the season or something, didn't he? Yeah. He was on sort of Mo Salah S numbers and then sort of kept them going, whereas Mo had a little drop off. Can I just check how many more questions have I got, dude? So you've got face? three questions. And I've got, got three lifelines. And you've got three Love lifelines. <laughs> Love that ratio. Your okay, question let's go. is when was the last time all three promoted teams stayed up? Oh. 2017 18, 2018 19. 2019-20, or D, it never happened? Okay. One awful question, Doogie. Yeah, that is. Uh, that with Harold. That is evil. Villainous. Heinous. I mean, there's, is there any point in me even trying to work out who those teams are? Yeah, I mean, I probably will use the 50-50, but I mean, I don't know, maybe a clue would be helpful, except that, knowing Doogie, the clues are quite useless. They can, can be I? mischievous. Some, they can not be mischievous. They can, I think they can pretty much give you the answer. So, well, here I don't know what the clue could be. You know, like I, I'll actually go for a clue here, Dukes. Let's get let's let's get it off the table. Okay, the clue. Sometimes mischievous, sometimes not. The clue on this occasion <laughs> is Man City won the league that year with a record tally. Okay, so it, so it's not none of the above then. That's good. Um, it's not nineteen twenty. Because that's when Liverpool won it. It was very funny because they couldn't celebrate properly. Um, so I think it was the the year. Oh, 
Hund. Mm. Oh, he's I don't squirming. Like it. I am squirming, do you? I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Harold's got no, I think a twist. Drinking this in here. I'm going to say 1718. You locking that in, Patrick? Yeah, I don't care, Doogie. Just give me the answer. Give me the give me the loot. Pato, after using your clue and much squirming and umming and ahhing, you've gone with A, 2017-18. And you were right. Well done. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, the following year was when I think, I think Man City beat Liverpool by a point the following year, but 17-18 yeah. was uh, quite one-sided. Right, yeah, lads, well, well done. You're in the Champions yeah, League. Two questions remaining. Two lifelines remaining. And we've oh, added five right. minutes to the episode, so that's the perfect work. Thing. Yeah, watch time. I knew that all along, Doogie. I was just, you know, what a performer. Give, what giving a us performer. some more, giving us some more engagement time. Yeah, you've always got analytics in mind, Pat. That's what I like about you. Right, Chris. Your question comes in from Sidant Nanandakar. Sorry about that, Sidant. I didn't have my best pronunciation on there. How many goals? Did Louis? <laughs> you always do that to me. How many well, goals did Luis Suarez score against Norwich? Luis Suarez. Oh my goodness! I'm going to come. He's through not that Louis, camera. is he? I'm going to come through that camera in a second, Pat. Oh wow! Ten, twelve. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, that sounded dodgy. Wow. Okay, that was not a threat. Ten, twelve. <laughs> 14 or 15. I didn't even listen to the question because I was Everyone's wondering how head spelling is in a weird place right now. So how many uh, goals did Suarez <laughs> score against Norwich? 10, 12, 14 or 15? How many, how long was it Liverpool for? Four seasons, three and a half? It was a January, it was a January signing, wasn't it? Probably four, four games, let's say, if he was almost there for four seasons. Going off the, the logic that they're an absolute yo-yo club. Um, five mm -hmm. in that game. How am I going? How am I going to work this out? <laughs> um, we don't even have a Liverpool fan on on the team that you can ask. I wouldn't expect a Liverpool fan. fan to know that. That's ridiculous. Um, can I have a clue, please? Yes. Your clue is Olivier Giroud wore this number at Arsenal. I mean, I could just ring George and ask him what number Juro is, but I think I can work this out for myself. Wasn't he? Wasn't he twelve? He wasn't ten. Surely they didn't give him fourteen. That'd have been amazing. Uh, sorry, it was ten, twelve, fourteen, or fifteen. I don't remember him being fifteen, but then why would I? Why is that something I'd store? I feel like it's twelve. Uh. Yeah, because who cares? Unless it's Henrik Larsson donning the number seven. Twelve! Locking that in? Go on! Chris, you were in the Champions League. You've gone with B12. And your gut was right! Yes, nice one. come on! Leap of faith there. You will get the chance to complete the show in the semi-final. Okay, Pat, you've got two questions remaining and two lifelines. Your question okay. comes in from Rawash Dare. Which player has scored the most goals in the history of the Women's World Cup? Marta, Carly Lloyd, Alex Morgan, or Megan Rapino? Hmm. Okay. Good, uh, good can I use a 50-50? Your 50-50 is Marta or Carly Lloyd. I don't really have anything to decide between them, but for some reason I think it's Carly Lloyd. Like, the USA has generally been... The Brazilian team... Maybe I'm completely off base with this, but I remember seeing like Marta's stats at maybe it wasn't the World Cup, but they were not as good as, I, as I'd been led to believe they'd be. I think I'll say Carly Lloyd. I think I'll say Carly Lloyd. You know, the ha USA like are the historically like the greatest mm. women's football ty side. This, this is interesting because I would have gone Marta. Okay. Yeah. They're all Pat. quite tempting, you know. Are you locking in Carly Lloyd? Yeah, why not? Pat. You were in the Champions League. You've gone with B, Carly Lloyd, with a 50-50 between Marta or Carly Lloyd. And you are wrong, I'm afraid. Oh, come it on. was Marta. Oh, well. Bad luck. But there is a still a chance that it could be a draw. If Chris gets his question wrong and Pat gets his right, we could have a fastest finger first to decide a place in the final. But if Chris gets this right, he would have got to the final by completing the show, which is a pretty baller move. Right, Chris, this is your completion show question. Comes sure. in from Ben Z Watts 03. Which team did Middlesbrough beat to reach the 2006 UEFA Cup final? Schalke, 
Sevilla, Zenit, or Stour Bucharest? Christ almighty. Uh, they got hammered in the final, didn't they? By, was it... Uh, Is it Sevilla or Atletico Madrid? I'm, I imagine it was Sevilla in that period. There is some Europa League heritage there, for sure. Mm, big time. Oh, wow. So I'm going to dismiss Sevilla because I think they might have beat them in the final. It was them or Atletico Madrid. I don't think anyone's beaten Sevilla in that competition in that period of time. When was it, like 2008? Am I was way that, off? Uh, was that Fulham? 2006. 2006. Oh, close enough. I'm going to call... Is McCubbin on holiday now? I think he, he is. is. Yes, he's that'd at a music be, festival. That'd be a pre oh. pretty move. Could be <laughs> That's rough. That. He, he's the perfect candidate. Yeah, Tomlinson, no chance. Zach, no chance. George. George, maybe. Do you want to give George a call? Is there anyone else in our team? I mean, Henry might have good Europa League knowledge because of Fulham around that period. Um, yeah, go on. Just give George a ring, mate, just to see if he's got any inkling. And if not, I'll have a I'll have a guess. Okay, let's get George on the. <laughs> I feel like I know exactly what George is gonna say. He was. I'm fucking no. Right. <laughs> he's gonna be oh bloody hell. <laughs> hey George, you're live on the football pyramid. <laughs> right. The question comes in. Uh, it's it's to help Hamill potentially win the show, and he doesn't really know, but he thought you might know, but he's not really sure whether you'll know. Let's see what the question is. Which team did Middlesbrough beat to reach the 2006 UEFA Cup final? Schalke, Sevilla, Zenit, or Stour Bucharest? I'm not sure. I have no idea, but I guess um, Zenit, I think. You'd guess Zenit. Wait, what? Do you know what, what, what year is it? 2006. So Middlesbrough beat this team in the semi-finals to reach the final. I know Zenit won it at some point, but I don't know if it was that year. I don't okay. know. All right, yeah. Chris, what do you make of that? What, George thinks Zenit? Uh, he, he doesn't really have a clue, but he, he thinks Zenit. Hit roll the dice. Roll the dice on Zenit. You're going to roll the dice on Zenit? Yeah, okay. Hamill. This to complete the show, you've got, I'm going to actually hang up on George, sorry. Bye George, bye George. Which team does Middlesbrough beat to reach the 2006 UEFA Cup final? You've got with Zenit. I'm afraid you were wrong. It was Stour Bucharest. It's the bed. <laughs> Which who means... They, who did they lose to in the final, Diggs? Uh, the final, I'm not sure who they lost to in the final, but they beat... Was this Juve? Was this the Juventus year? Um... I'll be back in one second. They lost 4-0 to Sevilla. 4-0 to Sevilla in the final. Right. Wow, what a competitive fit. Uh, I, I at least remembered the final. <laughs> okay. Pat, you're in the Europa League. You need to get this right to stand a chance of going to a fastest finger first. Your question comes in from Rennick5. Who is the all-time Scottish Premiership top scorer? Henrik Larsson, Chris Boyd, Lee Griffiths or Kenny Miller? Me. You have super sub, but you can't call Chris. Why can't I call Chris? It's just against the rules and the etiquette of the show. Well, I think that's. But well. if you want to be that way. Um. Okay. You said Chris Boyd. He's a guy. Um. Lee Griffiths was that another guy? Yeah. Kenny, Kenny Miller. Miller. Or Henrik Larson. Mate, I thought you were gonna say like McCoy. That guy got so many. Got that guy got like, you know, pre-war levels of goals you know when they're like oh there was this one guy with one leg who played in austria who scored like 750 goals i'm tempted to say henrik larsson just because like i know obviously other people were in the league for longer but he was in the league a long old time and he was unbelievably prolific but he did also sit that whole season out with that was that a knee injury he had a really bad knee injury he was actually only out for six months was he really came back storming it's probably not him, though, just because I just because of longevity. I mean, I might as well ring someone. Let sure. me ring Henry. Let me ring Henry. Okay. Let's get him on the call. Here we go. Henry Hill. He's the only person with any any ball knowledge whatsoever. 
Oh, Henry, I doubted you whether you'd pick up, but here you are. <laughs> you have little faith. It, it is the football pyramid. Uh, Pat needs this question to take it to a final question with Chris Hamill. The question yes. is, who is the all-time Scottish Premiership top scorer? Henrik Larsson, Chris Boyd, Lee Griffiths or Kenny Miller? Why would he assume I knew this? He didn't. He just needed someone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, right, promising I again. <laughs> yeah, I know, right. my, my instinct would be Chris Boyd I feel like Chris Boyd played there for a very long time I don't think Henrik Larsson was there long enough to have scored that many goals he, and I don't think Lee Griffiths is the all time top scorer so it would be between Chris Boyd and Kenny Miller let's do it come on Henry okay I'll well, die, I'll die on this Henry Hill I would go for Chris Boyd okay but, he's going with Chris Boyd Pat, you were in the Europa League. You needed this to go to a fastest fingers first. You've gone with B. Chris Boyd on the advice of Henry Hill. And we'll have a showdown. Love it. Yes, Henners. Thanks, Henry. Massive. I need each of you to make a noise now so I know who's making, who's going first. So, Pat, what's your noise going to be? It's going to be bing. Bing. Okay, Chris, what's your noise going to be? Bong. Bing and bong. I do need to hear <laughs> bing and bong before you answer. Um, okay, and it's the fastest, you only get one shot at it, but the fastest uh, wins. Okay. Okay, the question comes in from Yuvraj underscore Beast. Which of the following players has won the World Cup, Copper America and Confederations Cup for Brazil? Neymar, Kaka, Ronaldinho or Marcelo? Bing. Pat. Ronaldinho. Correct! Well done! Pat makes it to the final against <laughs> Michael McCubbin, which he is delighted about, aren't you, Patrick? Oh, I, I'd say I've probably never felt a deeper sense of satisfaction, do you? Oh, good stuff. I mean, well done for making it. You were, you know, slipped near the end, but recovered well, thanks to Henry and Chris Boyd. Mm. I mean, Hamill, you had the chance to complete the show and you walk away at the semi-final stage. You a little disappointed? And that's what makes this such a beautiful show, mate. <laughs> the the elation and the despair. Uh, yeah, I mean, my, my quiz nemesis uh, turned up in, in Pat and Middlesbrough. So there we have it. <laughs> oh, lovely stuff, guys. Um, I have actually got all the questions ready for the final already. So don't DM me on Twitter and Instagram, please. But do let us know what your ex predictions are for the final between Pat and Michael McCubbin. I think McCubbin's on holiday next week, so it'll probably be the week after that. But thank you very much, for guys, for watching. Please go check out all our content across all our three channels. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.